So I finally <laughs> got my Sephora Spring Savings Sales Event package in the mail. I don't know if y'all experienced the same thing. I wanted this video to go up like weeks ago, but it took over two weeks for my stuff to arrive. I finally just got everything. It came in like three separate packages. It was really very, very strange because I actually have rouge, so I ordered my stuff pretty early on and it took over two weeks to get to me. So this video is super late, but we're gonna do it now. Everything is finally here. I was trying to be very, very patient. It was tough though. And I think I got some really good stuff, so I kinda wanted to show you guys what I purchased. And I actually do have a few things that I will be sending back. Um, so we'll see, depending on how long this video is, because we got a lot of stuff. Um, I might run through what I will be returning as well. So I'm actually gonna start with hair care because there's only one thing that I purchased uh, for my hair. Um, I actually just did a whole Ulta haul of like all my shampoos and stuff, so I didn't really need anything. Um, but the one thing that I did wanna try was this K18 um, Biomimetic Hair Science. Um, this is their leave-in molecular repair hair mask. Um, I've heard really, really great things about this and it just had really, really good reviews. This whole thing is only 1.7 fluid ounces, which is not very big and this was kind of pricey, but I'm not a big Olaplex gal, so I'm hoping that maybe that this will be like my winner, my go-to. So it's just like a pump thing and it's like a leave-in conditioner. What I thought was really, really interesting about this is that you shampoo, but you're not supposed to condition your hair. You shampoo and then get out of the shower, towel dry your hair and then put this in and then leave it in and just style your hair. So there's no conditioning. So I'm really intrigued to see how that works out. It says it heals your hair in just four minutes. I've stopped bleaching my hair for two years now. Um, I think I've been brunette for two years, I guess, now. Wow, that's a really long time. So my hair is not in the worst condition ever, but I'm always looking for ways to improve it because I do use a ton of heat on my hair. I always heat style my hair. Um, so I'm hoping that this will kind of repair some split ends and maybe keep it nice and healthy, help it grow, especially in the summer. My hair always gets super dry from like being at the beach, being in the sun, salt water, all that good stuff. So I did also purchase some fragrances. I've been so into perfumes and fragrances lately. I don't know why, but I'm just such a like scent oriented person. And I just have been really sick of everything that I own. And I have a huge fragrance collection. So I wanted to try out a few new ones, especially when the seasons change for me. That's like a big thing. I'm like, okay, I need to get like a fresh scent. And it's very like, I equate smells with like changes and different seasons and things like that. So when it starts getting warmer, I need to break out all my summer perfumes. So I automatically have to switch gears. This is the uh, Giorgio Armani C perfume. And I could only get the little roller travel ball one of these because it was sold out. I've been trying to get my hands on this for a really long time, but it's sold out a lot of the time. And I understand why. This smells so good. It smells so fresh and delicious. This is like the perfect like spring, like clean girl, sophisticated gal kind of scent. I love it. My favorite scent right now I've been wearing is the YSL Libre. And I would kind of put this in the same category of that like fresh florally, just like clean girl smell. I love it. It's so good. I don't exactly know what the scent notes of this one are. Um, but I will be purchasing the full size of this one. I'm bummed I couldn't get it during the sale because it is a little bit pricey, but it's amazing. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend giving it a whiff. I'm obsessed. And then I did get a full size of this uh, Giorgio Armani Terra one. And first of all, the packaging on these are so beautiful. I wanna try a ton of the Giorgio Armani perfumes because I really do love the way they smell. This one, oh, it's so pretty and it smells like a lotion or like a very like clean, light, 
Ugh, I can't even, I can't even explain it. I need to look up the scent notes of what this is. I think maybe it's like amber or something like that, but it is so, so delicious. I think that this is such like a universal scent. Like to me, I would wear this in like summer, fall. This is like a really pretty everyday scent, but it's definitely going to be one of the ones for summer. It's not like your typical summer fragrance that's like coconut and like tropical. It's very clean and very fresh, but also very light. So I actually got a ton of skincare, like a ton of skincare. I definitely took advantage of this sale to restock all of my skincare favorites. So a lot of these are actually repeat purchases for me. First of all, I had to get another Laneige lip sleeping mask. The vanilla one is actually my favorite. I have one sitting literally right here. I have them all over the house. I think this is like my fifth or sixth one. I love them. They're so good. The vanilla is actually my favorite because I like the scent the best, but I also really just enjoy the clear. So got another one of these. Then I also restocked on my Ola Henriksen Find Your Balance Oil, Con Oil Control Cleanser. I've been using this cleanser for i'm literally throwing away the packaging because i already know if this needs to go right next to my sink um i've been using this for three or four years now it is my absolute favorite i love it it has a really nice kind of like minty smell it feels a little bit tingly on your skin it's very fresh i love it because it keeps any texture or anything like that at bay for me i don't really struggle with acne or anything like that but I do get like random hormonal breakouts or like from working out and things like that. This really keeps everything at bay while not drying out my skin. That's a huge thing for me because I'm naturally very oily. And so I finally learned how to balance my skin out. And this literally says exactly what I need it to do. Find your balance. It keeps all the bad stuff at bay, but won't dry me out. I am obsessed with this and it's gentle enough that you can use it morning and night. So this is a go-to for me. Another repurchase is this Paula's Choice Exfoliate 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is if you have texture or if you struggle with like a little bit of bumpiness or anything like that, this actually has salicylic acid in it. And like I said, I do not struggle with acne or breakouts or anything like that, but this is a game changer for me. If you have texture, a little bit of unevenness, rough, bumpy skin, this is so good. It's really lightweight. It absorbs into your skin so fast. I use this as my second step after I cleanse. I make sure I get all that makeup off and this just takes whatever might be left on there. It feels really fresh. It's very lightweight. It's very, very gentle. It's basically just a chemical exfoliant. It's safe enough to use every single day. You can even use it twice a day if your skin is up for it. I absolutely love this stuff. Stuff. It has great reviews on Sephora. There's a reason why this stuff is phenomenal. So the last repurchase that I got is this uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. So this, mm, I waited for this sale to get this because this little serum is literally a hundred dollars. This thing is a hundred dollars. It's very expensive. And Drunk Elephant is a brand that I don't necessarily reach for super frequently. Um, but this stuff, so I took a break from using this because I was like, do I really need it? Is it really making that much of a difference for me? Holy crap. I can tell if I stop using this for like a week or three days. Like the texture on my skin just completely changes. I get dry flakes, patches. This is so nice. It literally smooths your skin like a baby's butt. It's so good. It doesn't dry me out though. And it just really like balances my skin. It's a pH of 3.5. So it's kind of in the middle there. And it's just, it's really, really, really nice. Um, I just apply it onto like a clean face at night. Um, the one thing I will say when you're using products with like AHA and things like that, like glycolic, you want to make sure that you're using an S you should be using an SPF daily anyways, but you want to be super, super careful that you're using an SPF. It basically just resurfaces your skin if it's like a little bit dull or congested and it just makes you look so bright and glowy and just smooths everything out so perfectly. 
Like I said, I can tell a difference when I don't use this. So this is the one product from Drunk Elephant that I'm like, that shit actually works and I kind of do need it. So the last three things I have are actually newer for me. Um, so the first thing I have is this Pharmacy Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am die hard for the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Um, so this is the exact same concept except for it has cleaner ingredients. Um, so I really wanted to give this a try. Oh, there's a little spoon. That's nice. It's just a cleansing balm that you basically like scoop some out, put it in your hands, and it'll remove all of your makeup. Um, this I use in addition to my normal cleanser, which actually does take off makeup as well, but I'll use this first and then cleanse afterwards. Um, so I'm just hoping that maybe this isn't quite as greasy as the Clinique one. I was finding that it was leaving a little bit of a residue for me. While it did take off the most stubborn makeup products, it did leave kind of a film and I wasn't super crazy about that. So I got something from Glow Recipe. Um, Glow Recipe, I've gotten like a few like sample stuff from them and I've actually been really loving a lot of their products. Um, I've incorporated a lot of their stuff into my freelance makeup kit. So I'm really, really excited to try some more of their stuff out. I got the Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum. I do have some sunscreen spots um because I didn't think it was cool to wear SPF back in the day and now I know much much better so I'm trying to kind of just even out my skin tone and I really just want to focus on eliminating any dark spots having really smooth texture all that good stuff so this has five forms of vitamin c and then it has um, a bunch of different acids and vitamin e to boost radiance and just give you that really nice glowy appearance the packaging is so cute it's a glass bottle it's really luxurious feeling and yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. Right now I'm using a hyaluronic acid, which was really, really nice for the winter time, but because it is starting to get a lot hotter, I don't need as much moisture in my skin as I normally do. So I'm gonna switch over to that. The last skincare item I got is this clarifying clay mask from Tatcha. I haven't purchased anything from Tatcha in a really, really long time. Um, they are very, very pricey. It's a great brand, I love Tatcha but I just haven't like seen anything that I felt like I couldn't live without or that I absolutely needed. So this is basically one of their new products actually. And so I saw it and was like, okay, I think, I think that I need this. Um, I did used to use one of their masks and it was really like very nice and very luxurious. I just didn't use it enough to justify the price point. So I didn't rebuy it. Their packaging is like heavy, heavy duty. Like it's so pretty. I love Tatcha. I really, really do. When you use it, it's like a treat. It has a bunch of different stuff that I can't pronounce in here, but basically you just, oh, it smells, it smells so good though. Oh, I'm so excited to use it. Like I said, Tatcha for me is like a little bit of a treat. I kind of feel spoiled when I use it and that's how it should be. Your skincare should be a luxury and should be fun for you. Gently exfoliates. Um, you basically use it for three to five minutes and then rinse it off and that's it. So I'm excited to use that. That'll probably be like a once a week thing when I like wash my hair and do my self tan routine and all that good stuff. This is probably when I'll use it. And it's really nice. It comes with like a little spoon as well. So you don't contaminate the product with your dirty fingers. Okay, so we're gonna move into the makeup portion. Um, I went a little ham on the eyeshadow palettes. Um, it's excessive, I know. I know it's really excessive. But again, the sale doesn't happen super frequently, so I'm going to I'm going to make the most of it. So, first up we have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of of Oh my god. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. Holy crap. So, I got this um for my freelance kit actually for my bridal makeup 
clients. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I use a ton of her products in my kit. They're super, super great quality, give great results, last really, really nicely. So this basically just has like all shimmer shades. It's really pretty for the lid, that classic look that everybody's been asking me for lately. Um, she's becoming super popular. Everybody's really leaning towards her style of makeup, which I love. I'm so here for it. I want to get a few more of these. I want to get the regular Pillow Talk quad that has the matte shades in there as well. Um, but I'm going to start with this one for now, see how I like it, see how frequently I use it. So that's going to go in my kit. Also going in my kit is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. So I purchased four Natasha Denona palettes during this sale. But I love her shadows so freaking much. So I took advantage. When else are you going to get them on sale like this? I got 30% off. That's a pretty, pretty dang good deal. Um, so this is the Retro Palette. And this one's really, really pretty. It has like pinks and purples and burgundies. This is perfect for bridal. You have your pops of pinks and you have some neutral browns in there as well. I get a lot of clients asking for like blush or like I said, that kind of like Charlotte Tilbury, like pinky mauve -y look, especially girls with blue or green eyes. This is so comp. I mean, any guy could, you can use this on anybody. It's so complimentary though. It's absolutely stunning. Love her. The other three Natasha Denona palettes and pa Patrick Ta palettes are for me. So this is the Natasha Denona pastel palette. And when I tell you I have not been excited about makeup in a long time, I have not been feeling particularly inspired. I have not been really like feeling anything there's not really been anything like calling my name then I saw this this palette did not call my name this palette screamed for me to purchase her screamed screamed she said please take me home please you need me I have not seen a palette like this before. I don't know. Maybe there are pastels out there. I don't know. I just haven't seen anything like it before. This, for me, came at a perfect time. Like I said, I was feeling incredibly uninspired and just, like, not into makeup lately. And this has sparked my excitement, and I just look at it, and it makes me feel happy. <laughs> So I, I did not necessarily need it, but I really don't have anything in my collection like this. I know I love her shadows. I'm hoping this performs like the rest of them because it is pastels. Pastels are really, really challenging to get great color payoff, to get like that creamy formula. Um, so I'm hoping that these perform really well because this baby is absolutely stunning. Then I got the Zendo palette. Is that how you say it? The Zendo one? I'm excited for this one because this one to me screams summertime. The pastel one is like spring. This guy is like summer. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait. Like if we go anywhere on vacation or travel or do anything, like this is the only palette I'm taking with me. It has really, really wearable shades. Although there are pops of color, I, I look at this and I immediately see... 16 different makeup looks that I could do with this. It's so versatile. It's so pretty. This shade up here called Balance, that rich caramelly brown. And then we have some like really pretty greens here, some teals, oranges, gold. Like it's just, it's, it's so freaking beautiful. I'm so excited to play with this. I definitely want to do a video with this on my channel, a nice summery sunset kind of vibe. I know this is not a new palette, but it's new for me. And the last Natasha Denona palette I got, I already know I love this one. This is a replacement for me. This is the Biba All Neutral palette. I mean, if you don't know Biba yet, it's, oh, it's any, any neutral shade you could possibly need. Like this is my go-to palette. I actually had one before, and this one is bigger than the other ones. Um, it is also more expensive than the other ones. Um, I did have a Biba palette. I did a video with it on my channel way back when, um, but I have since then moved that into my freelance kit because I get so much use out of it. But since moving it over, I've really, really been missing it and really been wanting it back. So I got myself another one.
And the last palette that I purchased is this Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. This is not the new one. I did look at the new one and it was very, very pretty, but those were kind of more like pinky mauve tones. Um, so I wanted something a little bit more neutral. I just ended up with the original one. This one is not new either, but it's new for me. It's so pretty. I love it. You have a bunch of really pretty shimmer shades that just feel like they're just gonna like do the absolute most on your eyes like oh, so pretty so glittery and then you have two kind of like base shades here you could even use these as kind of like a liquid eyeliner or you could use them as a base so super versatile palette i love patrick ta products i've had really good experiences with them i like their blushes lip liners, contour, all that good stuff. So I figured that I would give his eyeshadows a try. Moving right along, I have more eye products. Um, the first thing I have is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner. This will actually be going in my makeup kit as well. This is their um, long lasting blendable coal liner. Um, and this color is really unique and pretty. I don't know if you can see, but it's like a burgundy brown. I think it is such a stunning color. I actually wanna purchase another one of these because I want one for myself now. This is a really unique and pretty shade. I haven't been able to find anything like it. So it is pretty pricey for an eyeliner, which is kind of irritating, but it's such a, such a pretty color. And then I did also purchase five of these nude sticks matte eye pencils um these are the magnetic matte eye colors these are going to be going in my kit as well so lately i've been really loving doing eye looks using like my laura mercier caviar eye sticks and all that stuff so i wanted a few matte shades these are again really versatile as well you can use these as eye bases but you can also use them as liners this one is Terra. it's like an orangey caramel colored brown these are so smooth and creamy. This is almost like a skin tone one. I got, this is taupe, which is exactly that. Taupe, it's kind of a more cool tone. Fig, which is a warmer brown. We have chocolate, which is exactly that, a nice chocolate brown. And these are so smooth and creamy. And then last but not least, I got cocoa which is a really deep brown, which can almost pass for black. So I got some really nice ones. These are also really great to go in the waterline if you're looking for some nude colors. These can work for a variety of skin tones, or like I said, you can use them as eye bases. They're really smudgeable. They're really nice once you set them with shadow. Very, very pigmented, super creamy, very easy to work with. In the box, they do come with like a little sharpener so you can sharpen that up and then I also really like these for storage I can store things like scissors tweezers lash glue like little tools and stuff in these little boxes as well which is actually pretty dang convenient or you can put all five of them in one which is just like an added little bonus their packaging is always very very nice all right y'all we're almost done um i did get one face product i just got a refill of my freck xl i cannot live without freck um freck now has multiple shades so if you have a deeper complexion there is a darker shade for them now which is really really nice so if you don't know how freck works you basically just dot it and then you take your hand and just basically disperse it and it's like faux freckles. I love this. I think it looks really cute for like a fresh summery look. I use it year round. It's one of my favorite go-to makeup products. I use it on almost every makeup look I'm doing, especially all of my everyday makeup looks. That's my go-to. I don't use it as frequently in the summer because my natural freckles actually come out. Um, but when I'm looking to kind of emphasize those or really enhance them, then that's like my go-to. I love it. And it's so easy to use, dries down, lasts all day, completely foolproof. So the last things that I got are actually three products. Um, I've been experimenting with this brand a little bit more lately and I've really, really been enjoying it. This is Refi, Refi, Refi. I think it's called 
called Refi. So this is newer to Sephora and I actually use their brow gel nonstop and I just started using the brow pencil and so far I've been loving it. So these are the new lip collections. So this is the lip sculpt and lip gloss. So I went ahead and just purchased all three shades that they offer. I know it's really excessive, but I wanted to try them out. Um, the first one that I have is Rosewood, and I really like these that they bundle things as sets so that way you kind of know how to use things. It's a full-size lip sculpt. It's a dual-ended lip liner and lip setter and then a lip gloss. I'm not 100% sure how to use this. I need to go on her Instagram and see how she does this, but it says that this is a lip sculpt, which looks like kind of like a lip liner almost. And then on the other side, this is the lip setter, and it's really interesting. It's like a silicone wand. I don't know if you can see. What does it do? This one, Rosewood, is kind of like a pinky neutral. It almost looks like pillow talk almost like a dupe for that so it's just a clear tube gloss like this i might throw one of these in my kit because i got all three shades so all three of them come with a clear gloss it's a lot of clear gloss i don't think i'll ever make it through one of these but these look so nice can you see it's like a metal applicator mm. that feels great other shades that I got are taupe and fawn. Taupe is really pretty. It's like a nice neutral brown. It's very, very similar to rosewood in terms of depth. So the bottom is rosewood, the middle is taupe, and then the top is fawn. So really, really pretty wearable colors. These are like my go-to shades, so I'm really excited to test those out. I will keep you guys posted on those. So that is going to conclude my Sephora haul. I didn't feel like I got that much stuff but looking at it all now I'm like I went a little bit crazy I went a lot of it crazy <laughs> I'm really excited to play with all of the new products and I'm really happy to have some of my favorites restocked or as backups um, if you guys are interested in seeing me test any of these out or if you want updates let me know in the comments down below I am more than happy to do so and I will see you guys in my next video bye